Welcome to Cambridge Science Investigators. Today's investigation. Do some solids melt more quickly than others? Here are some ice cubes. Here is some chocolate and butter. These are all solids. Our investigators are going to heat each solid and see how long it takes to melt and change into a liquid. I think the butter will melt first. Mm, I'm not sure. Which solid do you predict will melt first? Which will melt second? And third? Let's investigate and find out whether your prediction was correct. Before they start, our investigators need to make a plan. We have to plan a fair test. Yes, we must use the same things to heat up the solids. They are going to heat each solid and measure the time it takes to melt. What else must they do to make it a fair test? Here are the ice cubes, butter and chocolate. They're all the same size for a fair test. And we use the same pan to heat each one. Did you think of those two things to make sure the test was fair? Our investigators also need to plan how they will measure the time and make a table to record the results. Our investigators are going to test melting the ice cube. One of them has put the ice cube in the pan. The other is timing how long it takes to melt. Our investigators started timing as soon as they put the ice cubes in the pan. The ice cubes have started to melt already. Look, the ice cubes have completely melted. It's 54 seconds. I'll record the time. Now it's time to melt the chocolate. The chocolate's taking a lot longer to melt. This smells good. It's already longer than the ice cube. The chocolate's completely melted. How long did it take? It's 1 minute 55. I'll record it now. Now our investigators are going to melt the cube of butter. The butter is melting. The butter's completely melted. I must take it off before it burns. It took one minute, nine seconds. I'll record that now. Our investigators are recording how long it took for the butter to melt. Thanks for watching. <laughs>